What's up guys, hope you are well. Today we're gonna learn the around the world movement from the series of Persian Ball tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous video, Professional Juggling, you may not be able to do this video very well. So I suggest you to go back and watch the previous video so you can do the ATW movement very well. So let's go. The around the world movement is one of the movements that is so viral and trend these days and every footballer, freestyler and everyone who loves the ball has done it before. I'll do the around the world movement so you can see what the around the world movement actually is. This is called the around the world movement. The ball spins and your foot rotates around the ball. It's a technical movement because you should hit the ball in a way that it spins and your foot rotates around the ball. The most important movement that you should do is the first movement, juggling. Your full concentration shouldn't be on the juggling to do the around the world movement properly. <laughs> First of all, you have to know what's your level. If you're amateur, you have to improve the front part of your foot's ball mastery. Your foot should be known to the ball. I'll give you some training that you can do it. If you're weak at juggling, surely do this training for the starting. Try to hold the ball on your feet, lift your leg and bend your ankle. If it's like this, when you bend it, the ball drops, hit the ground and you take it back. So, hold the ball on your feet, lift your leg, the ball drops, hit the ground and you take it back. Do this training to find the ATW style in your feet. When you train and became professional at this training, you can catch the ball on the air, which improves your ball mastery and muscle memory that can help you later for doing the ATW movement without holding the ball on your feet and just juggling. <laughs> In the next level, when the ball hits the ground and comes up, you must hit it in order to spin it and let it hit the ground. So, you catch the ball, you drop it and you hit it. The ball is spinning, it hits the ground and you take it back. This is the next level and it's so important. Why? Because it improves the ball mastery. The previous level, you hold the ball and you bend your ankle. But in this level, you drop the ball, it hits the ground. When it comes up, you hit it in order to spin it. When you become professional, you can catch the ball on the air after you hit it. If you cannot, it's okay. Let it hit the ground. This is very important. If you want to start freestyle and want to progress faster, I suggest you to select this Persian ball because it has great bouncing and it's designed especially for freestyle. And you can use these freestyle shoes that are made of lightweight materials that doesn't make your foot tired and the ball doesn't slip because of the materials that are used in this shoe's front part. If you want to have yours, links in the description. What about our style? It's like juggling. You lift your toe and make your ankle a little hard. You must hit the ball with your foot's front part. Don't try to hit it with thumb or pinky finger with your foot's front part, a little further from the laces. And the important point is that you have to put pressure on the ball that it comes upright. I put pressure on the ball and it comes straight. You kind of push the ball upright, pushing with hitting and you take it back. If you don't do it, you won't be able to take it back exactly like this. And finally, when you have done all this training, if you're amateur, you may be able to do this movement with juggling after one week. I'm juggling and whenever I feel I can do it, I will do the around the world movement. And another important point is that when you want to do it for the first time, try to do it on first, second or third juggling. Like this, one, two, three and you do it on the third one. If you're weak at juggling, you may not have the full concentration on the around the world movement. I say it from my experience. I 
I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have learned a round of word movement, I want to teach you the next movement. X. It's an important movement because it has a wonderful combination with the around of word movement. Don't forget to subscribe because every week I want to upload the Persian ball tutorials for you guys to use it. See you in the next video.